has begun a good work in you will bring it to completion at the coming of Yeshua. Praise the Lord, warriors of God. Hello, Derek Lee here with a moment in the word of the Lord. Believe it, it is the first Sunday in 2024. Praise God from home. All blessings flow. We have this blessed assurance that Jesus Christ is ours, the Son of the living God, sent into the world to redeem us from the curse of the law. We have come this far by grace, by mercy, by compassion by the blood of Jesus, by the protection of the angels of the Lord sent from God, given charge over us. Oh, praise his holy name forever and ever. Now, I believe that we are in a time of revelation. Revelation like the church has never seen before. And this is why it is paramount that the church of the Lord Jesus Christ gets her act together, come before the presence of the Almighty God, seek his face, ask, knock, my God, get in position and begin to function. Why? Because in these times and in these moments, in this dispensation, the presence, the glory of the Lord God himself shall be revealed for all to see. A time of revelation is what I keep hearing in my spirit. The book of Matthew. Matthew chapter number 24. We are going to start, I believe, at verse 45. What would qualify a servant to manage his master's house? Mm. He would be a wise servant who is both faithful and dependable. In this 2024, we must be faithful. We must be dependable, even in the smallest of things. Hmm. The master would commission him to oversee others. Hmm. For he would lead them well and give them food at the right time. Faithfulness and dependability qualifies us mm, to be handpicked for the master, commissioned by him for such a time as this. What joy and blessing will come to that faithful servant when the master comes home to find him serving with excellence? We must now begin to serve in all aspects with excellence in the smallest of things, in the largest of things, with excellence. Despise not the days of small beginnings. Do all things with excellence. Even if it's cleaning, clean with excellence. Preaching the gospel, do it with excellence. Watching the children, do it with excellence. Worshiping, my God, do it with excellence. Fasting, do it with excellence. Praising, do it with excellence. Teaching, do it with excellence. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I can promise you, the master will raise him up and put him in charge of all that he owns. Everything the father has is ours. Everything that is in the father's possession is ours. All we must be found is faithful, dependable, to be trustworthy and commissioned by the father. And this is why it is paramount. We do all things with excellence. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. And I received that for myself, even during the course of this whole brand new, brand new year. My God. But the evil servant says in his heart, listen to this, 
My master delays his coming and who knows when he will return. And because of the delay, the servant mistreats those in his master's household. The church has mistreated the ones that the Lord has appointed and therefore the nation has mistreated the ones that the Lord has appointed. Yet for such a time as this, the faithful, the dependable shall be commissioned and put in leadership and rulership for what belongs to the master. And that is what we can expect. Because the evil one, instead of caring for the ones he was appointed to serve, he abuses the other servants and begins to party with drunkards. That's exactly what has happened to date in the nation. There has been partying and lots of drunkenness. <laughs> Abusing of power. That's right, Holy Ghost. Thank you for that revelation. Abusing of power. But the time has come where the end of the matter is here. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Let me tell you what would happen to him. His master will suddenly return. We can expect it suddenly, and the church is suddenly, and the nation is suddenly, and the government is suddenly, and the military suddenly, 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 and the media suddenly across the spectrum. He will return unexpectedly. Oh my God. What they did not expect will come unexpectedly. Hababashi. The unexpected should arise suddenly. The unexpected should arise immediately. The unexpected shall arrive unannounced. Oh, Holy Ghost, thank you for that. The unexpected shall arise mm, and arrive. Oh, my God. The unexpected shall arise. Wow. Yes, Lord. So we will see in this time. From today going forward, the unexpected, what the nation did not expect, will arise. Mm. And the unexpected shall be brought to the surface. And guess who gets the glory? The Lord. Hmm. Even in the church, the unexpected shall arise. The unexpected that the Lord has appointed by himself shall be made known for all to see and shall arise and praise the God of heaven and earth in Jesus name. And he will remove the abusive, <laughs> selfish servant from his position of trust. Ha! The suddenly, the unexpected mm -hmm, will then be the cause of remover Remover, remover, remover. I see this happening in spirit. Of the abusive servant, the selfish servant, the servant that has stolen from the church, stolen from the people, we the people. All of this abuse and selfishness will cause this servant and even theft to be removed from position. This is the wicked, evil, abusive, and selfish servant. No more trusts. <laughs> and the master will cut him in two and assign him to the place of great, my God. This is the word, sorrow and anguish along with all the other hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Lots of hypocrites have roamed. The church has been allowed to roam the church from Rome. Mm. Oh my God. Across the globe and on the platforms across America. Lots of hypocrites. Lots of hypocrites have been allowed to walk the grounds, the floors of the White House and the lawn. Lots of hypocrites have been allowed to wear the black robes in the Supreme Court and the Supreme Courts of the land and the justices of the land. Lots of hypocrites 
have been allowed to occupy offices in the Capitol building. But I say today, you can expect the end of the matter suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, and the abuse of power and the selfish, wicked, and slowful, evil servant will get their unexpected end just like that in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, this is a moment in the word of the Lord. This is the very first Sunday in this new year. Expect the unexpected as revelation shall come to us. And I believe that we are now in the time of revelation. And this is why I'm going to pray like Paul prayed. I pray that the spirit of wisdom, that the spirit of revelation and the spirit of knowledge will rest upon us, that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened, that we would know what the riches of your glory is, what the hope of your calling, O oh God, and what is your inheritance in the saints. Thank you, Father. Help us to see clearly. Help us not to miss a thing. Help us to hear clearly. Help us not to miss a thing. Help us to speak boldly. Help us not to miss a thing. Help us, God, not to operate under the spirit of fear. Because, God, you have given us the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Help us to stay armored up in accordance with Ephesians 6. Help us, God, to understand that you have brought us thus far only by your grace and your mercy. For your grace is sufficient for us. Father, I thank you. The elevation shall be ours. The transfer of wealth shall be ours. Divine covering, divine health and protection shall be ours. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you said, with long life would I satisfy him and show him my salvation. We thank you on today. The Father, by your grace, we will see with our eyes the downfall of all the wicked, abusive, and selfish, slothful servants across the globe, starting in our nation, from the church, to the White House, to the Supreme Court, to the Capitol building, to our military, to organizations across this nation, agencies across this nation, in the media, Father, suddenly and unexpectedly. Now, Father, in the midst of it all, help us to stay prayed up. Help us to fast. Help us to seek your face. Help us to be in tune with what heaven is releasing to earth. And help us not to miss a thing. Now, this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Warriors, this brand new week is a glorious week. Have a fabulous, blessed day. Know this one thing for sure. He started it. He will fulfill it. He begun it. He will bring it to completion. In Jesus' name, our job is to remain faithful, remain dependable, remain trustworthy in seeking, knocking, and asking. Because when we ask, we shall receive. When we seek, we will find. And when we knock, the door will be open unto us. Now, on that note, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Until the next time, stay armored up. Shalom.